Hi, I'm Mirza. Are we filming? Is this on? Oh my goodness. First impressions, take number 6,742. <sighs> Today's topic is about the importance of first impressions. English language arts is all about communication. Webster's Dictionary defines communication as a process by which information is exchanged between individuals through a common system of symbols, signs, or behavior. So why is this important to you? Well, based on this definition, your body language, your neatness, or the lack thereof, are a form of communication, especially when you're meeting someone for the first time. Now, talking with your mouth full, taking selfies with a toilet in the background, I hope it was flushed, or breaking up in a text message, don't tell me you've never done it, all, all forms of communication about you. Yes, about you you. These things say more about you than they say about the person that you're talking to. Okay? And again, uh, why is this important? Now, at some time in the future, you may be a candidate for a job interview. Maybe you already have conducted and been a part of an interview. Maybe you need to ask a teacher for a personal reference for a job or for a college application. Maybe you want to make a good impression on that cute new person who just walked into your classroom. But a first impression is the clues about you that a person analyzes when they are meeting you for the first time. First impressions can be changed later through repeat contact, but the opportunity to positively impact someone in that first moment can never be repeated, it can never be regained. So what do you need to know? I'm going to give you a list of tips to consider, and then I'm going to be having you actually uh, conduct or con create your own introduction video for me so that I can get to know you a little bit better, okay? So what are some tips about making a good first impression? Well, first of all, you need to have a neat appearance. Uh, again, you don't have to have brand new clothes or anything like that for purposes of this course. But when you're introducing yourself for the first time, wear neat clothes, have your hair combed, let's not have any bed head, let's not be you know, chewing our gum or chewing our food open mouth in front of the video camera. Uh, make sure that you have an open, approachable body language. If your hands are open and relaxed at your side, then that indicates that you're relaxed and you're comfortable. If you're clenching your fists or tense or fidgeting or doing any of those kinds of things, that hints to the person watching you that you, uh, you don't feel comfortable, that you actually feel nervous. So try to have an open, relaxed body posture, a relaxed tone of voice. Don't speak too fast. Don't speak too slow avoid crossing arms again a lot of people look at this as a defensive posture even though it's very comfortable um, it's not really a good posture for you to have when making a first impression video or going into a job interview or any of the other activities that we have just previously discussed remember to make eye contact eye contact is very important there are some tips um, little cheats I guess about giving um, or making you Giving the impression of making eye contact when you're giving a speech, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later, but making eye contact with someone is very important. If you aren't looking them in the eye, you don't have to stare at them, stare at them, stare at them, but looking at someone and giving them that eye contact is very important to be able to establish open communication. Um, keep a positive attitude, make sure that you are clear, have a conversational tone, don't speak in a monotone, watch your pitch, your variation, again your speed, and I guess more importantly is know your audience. Who are you speaking to and what would they most like to know about you in this brief opportunity that you have to speak with them? So keep those in mind as you're going forward and you're doing your introduction videos. So your task is to create a one minute introduction video. 
I want you to stop and consider what you feel it's most important for your instructor to know about you. Um, create a script for yourself, something that you can kind of follow to give yourself, um, um, I guess, a, a framework to help you stay on pace. And consider what you want for your instructor to know the most about you. What is the most important thing for them to know about you this year? So it takes some time to write up what you would like to say. And then you're going to be creating a video recording that you're going to be loading through your online course. I am really looking forward to finding out more information about you and seeing what kind of first impression that you can make.